Fala galera, como estamos? Maiara Munhoz aqui no Jiu Jitsu Sem Frames e hoje eu trouxe uma presença muito especial, temos uma presença muito especial aqui que é o Moja Sim, o Head Organizer do ADCC. Agora eu vou mudar para o inglês, so we can talk now. <laughs> so welcome, Mo, first time here on Jiu Jitsu Sem Frames, so thanks for talking to us. Thank you for having me. So I'm super excited for the breaking news that you have to talk about. I know you are super low profile on your Instagram. I saw some Instagram stories and I was super happy about it. So please tell me what's going to happen in the women's division on ADCC 2024. So, you know, I've always been a big pusher for women's jiu-jitsu. So I want to get this third women's division. We got that done. I'm very happy about that. And to be honest, like I was looking at all these amazing female athletes going to be in there. And I'm like, I would die if we wouldn't be able to do a women's absolute. So it's been approved. It's official. The women's absolute is coming back 17, later, 17 years later. There will be an eight women absolute division at ADCC 2024. And that's so cool because if you think about the last edition of ADCC, and honestly, since 2009, we only had two divisions of women, which was until 70, no, sorry, 60 and more 60. than 60 kilos. And now we have four. So it's so nice to see you like doing all these movements. I heard you talking about it before that you were always interested about it. So I just need to know, like, why did you decide this year? Well, it's, I mean, for me, look at the women that are competing. It's cr like for me, anyone that's into jujitsu, it's crazy. You know, you're going to have the current ADCC champions, Fionn Davies coming back, Amy Campo, Gabby Garcia, Kendall, Rafaela, Anna Vieira, Mackenzie Dern's coming back, Bianca, Bia. I mean, I can just keep going. So it's just so many talented women. Um, I love watching the female matches, to be honest, like, <laughs> they go very intense so i'm excited to see and let's see which eight women sign up and which eight women uh are going to go against each other i think it'll be very very exciting and we'll do it at the same time the, the men's absolute women's absolute we'll have them going at the same time and how are you planning to do um the the finals because usually on ibjjf for example the we the women's happens first and after we see all the, the 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 men division and then the women absolute and then the the men absolute uh how are you planning to do this you were planning to mix like one man one woman or Are you uh, planning this already? Uh, so it's going to be interesting because generally speaking, I used to have uh, the women do the finals last. I think I'll do that because it gives the men time to recover for the absolute. So the good thing is this. Um, we'll probably do it the same way, but the men absolute is 16. The women is eight. So we'll have the men go first. And then when both absolute have eight competitors left, then they'll go at the same time. Um, I think it'll be amazing to watch. Yes, I think it's good because I think that sometimes we can hold the audience from men to watch to watch the women's too. I think this is interesting. Okay, I mean, I can do that too. It's, I mean, it doesn't matter to me. We can either do, but I mean, what's it called? I think some of the women are going to steal the show. So even if the men's absolute is going, you know, trust me, I know those women absolute matches are going to be crazy. We're going to have 14,000 people in the arena to watch this so it's it's gonna be amazing i can't wait yes i'm super excited about this uh, like breaking news i'm so happy to like saying this to brazil like i think it's your first interview talking about it so thank you so much and also i'm super happy because basically we double the 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 divisions from the last adcc so we have now on um, 55 kilos 65 kilos and more than 65 kilos and it's good because we see like now um lighter girls coming like a rod She was not used to compete in a uh, in, in nogi, and now we can see like her competing a lot. And he he was she won the trials, so it's amazing. It's amazing what Anna Rodriguez did because people don't realize like uh, it is very hard to do good in ADCC. It's very different rule set. So, and I know she's uh, you know mostly does gi, and she doesn't do ADCC rules. So for her to go win trials in her first chance, it's amazing what she did. And I agree. The problem for me was when I got approval for the three women division, I wanted to make the division smaller. Girls like Misa Bastos, 
they're too they're too small for 60. So, you know, yeah. another breaking news uh is Fion Davies is dropping to minus 55. Oh. So you're going to have three ADCC champions in minus 55. You're going to have Mackenzie Dern, Bianca Basilio, and Fion Davies. So it's going to be crazy. Three champions uh, in that division. So I'm excited. Man, Fion is dropping to 55. I'm surprised, to be honest. Uh, you know, because like for me in ADCC, you don't want to cut too much weight. But she, I asked her two, three times. She's like, I want to go minus 55. So she's going minus 55 now. Well, same with Bianca Basilio. Yeah, Bianca too. Yeah. But Bianca's smaller. And I think, to be honest, the 65 is going to help. What's I For me, the one girl to watch out for 65 is going to be Bia Mesquita. I think with the extra five kilos, she's going to be a, a monster. And she already is a monster on the mat. So uh, I can't yeah. wait to try. Sometimes we don't realize it, but five, five kilos makes a huge difference. Huge difference. Especially because you can see, like, Bia uh, lag. She's so strong. Yeah. Uh, she's my favorite. Uh, Bia is my favorite female grappler of all time. Uh, I just like the way she competes. Very aggressive. So, let's yeah, see. Yeah, the grasp is smart and strong, so it's amazing. About Bia Basilio, so you have Anna Rodriguez and Bia Basilio in the 55 kilos. It's crazy because they are, like, having some beefs on the international. I, I, I didn't know about this until a week ago. And someone said something. I'm like, I don't know about this. And then they were saying, like, some stuff, trash talk, going back and forth. To be honest... Why not? You know, if the guys can do it and talk trash sometimes, so can the girls. Why not? It, it's exciting. Um, and who knows? Maybe they'll they'll face each other in ADCC. Yes, maybe it's gonna be like the one million dollars female fight to watch now <laughs> after everything that after all the trash talking. And it's funny because I don't know if you watch on the BJJ star, but BJJ stars, but uh, on Anna's interviews, she say, "Oh, I would charge a lot for this match." <laughs> <laughs> So let's see. You never know. Um, but what's it called? I respect both of them. They're, I mean, to be honest, all the women in this competition are very, very tough. So I just can't wait to see it. Um, it's going to be amazing. Yeah. Then who are you expecting on the absolute division? I know you cannot say 100%, but sometimes you just expect. Well, to be honest, the way absolute works is I don't even ask the names until after the final. Because some people will say, I'll do absolute. But trust me, after they compete, they're like dead. So I only take the names after. Um, so I have no idea who's going to sign up. But I'm sure we're going to see some of the big names to go in there. Like, you know, I'm sure Gabby's going to want to go in there. Uh, I think Kendall messaged me. She's like, I really want to do this. So and we'll get some of the lighter girls too. So it'll be good to see the minus 55 girls against 65, even the plus 65 girls. But I have no idea who's going to be in it. But I think you'll see a lot of big names sign up. Yeah, hopefully we'll see like a full bracket because it's it's interest for you to have like the the full bracket to keep doing this for the the next editions, right? Yeah, exactly. So I want to make sure you know we do it right. Um, I'm sure we'll get we'll get eight girls uh, to go out there. Uh, I'm not worried. So. Yeah, yes, I'm pretty sure they are so happy. I am so happy, of course, I'm not compete, but I would dare cover and stuff. Yeah. And so, yes, that's it. If you want to say something, so if you don't know, if you were watching us and you don't know, ADCC happens in August 17 and 18 on T-Mobile Arena in Vegas. And you were expecting like a full venue. It's like a very huge venue in Vegas and a super important venue in Vegas, right? Yeah, I mean, we, we already got rid of 12,000 tickets. So 12,000 is already gone. We already passed uh, 2022, but we're expecting a full sellout of 14,000 people for jiu-jitsu. So uh, I'm just excited. You know, obviously I'm happy for ADCC, but more than anything, I'm happy for the sport that now we can go into T-Mobile Arena and we're starting to get big numbers. So I'm, I'm very happy with the direction we're going. And in August, I think you're going to see some of the craziest matches in grappling history, no doubt. Yeah, I saw Ricardo Mendalia posted on his Instagram, I think, last week. Oh, do you think jiu-jitsu and grappling is already mainstream? <laughs> so what's your opinion about it? Because I see that definitely ADCC, if it's not on the top of mainstream, it's like 
climb into this? Uh, if you want my honest opinion, we're not there yet, but we're getting really close. You know, for me, like my motivation for doing ADCC is really one thing. Um, I love jujitsu. And what drives me crazy is jujitsu grappling is the only major combat sport in the world that doesn't have international events. Wrestling, Muay Thai, Judo, kickboxing, they have Olympics, World Championship. Only jujitsu doesn't. So for me, you know, ADCC is the biggest international grappling event. So we'll keep pushing until we get the respect uh, and we go mainstream. So I think... I'm very happy with where we're going, but we still have a lot. We still have a lot of work to do. And it's gonna be your first ADCC on your black belt. <laughs> <laughs> Watching ADCC on your black belt. Yeah. Yeah. It took me 19 years to get my black belt, but I finally got it. That's okay. Um, so oh, yeah. I got you. I'm five years as a brown belt. I'm like, oh, it's okay. The black belt will come one. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you. Yeah, so much. Thank you so much. If you have anything to say, just feel free. And you were talking to Brazilian people. Brazilian people know you. So feel free. I just want to say thank you to all our Brazilian fans. I had a great time. And to be honest, the best time I ever had at ADCC was Sao Paulo Trials. Uh, it's funny because I tell all the Americans, it's different in Brazil. They're so passionate. The athletes, the audience, it's hard to uh, describe. So if you ever get a chance to compete in Brazil, I suggest for everyone to go. The the fans are crazy uh, in the best way possible. So thank you so much. I look forward to coming back to Brazil soon. Yes. Thank you so much, Mo. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.